few years ago when I was living in Newcastle the first time round, I downloaded this game onto my phone. I used to play it on my break at 2am when I did night shifts in the supermarket. In the place where the bullying was so bad that one guy killed himself. The same place a guy got sacked for shoving a cucumber up his ass. I got really into this game for a little while. Seven years later or so and I'm living in Sunderland. I've downloaded the game again and though I feel a tiny bit guilty for playing a game when I should be doing actual things, the distraction from the usual worries and thoughts I have are totally welcome. The usual worries and thoughts did what they seem to do in my life every so often, just a few days ago. It all seemed to make total sense. I could see how I had to go through a big dry spell of feeling uninspired to lead me to this combination of madness. I love these times and I always think of the word trust. A couple of days after things were starting to make sense again, I was excited to wake up early one morning at the beginning of three days off. I was going to get pissed, head to Durham to hand out flowers to strangers. Today I was going to Newcastle to see Maria. The first thing I did as I awoke was to load up the game to have a quick go. The game glitched and nothing happened. I found it weird, so I started filming it on my phone. It's only recently I've got a phone which you can make screen recordings on. I love it. I can't afford to subscribe to Photoshop anymore, but I'm excited by the possibilities of what I can do making screen recordings on my phone. I let myself just glide on the game, wondering, is there any way I can die? If I leave it for hours, then maybe I'll build up a shitload of coins. It seemed this was going to be the case, but it was far from fun, just watching it, compared to what I was used to. I thought about what it meant how to glide through without engaging is safe. Yes, you get steady money, you're comfortable, but without risk. Without daring to try things, what sort of a life is that? This is the work me. For some reason I'm unable to combine the two me's. Those that know the me in work know me as a quiet, hard worker who moves around a lot, who laughs at any joke, who agrees with absolutely anything I'm told. In my head I question them all, hate it all a lot of the time, but nobody would ever know that about me. They think I'm always happy. I have sometimes been brave enough to tell them that this is where I come to sleep, to rest my mind. A monkey could do this work. The real work I do is outside of here, but when they've asked what I do, I just say weird stuff. Music, videos and that. For some reason, the me that just glides safely can't tell them about any of the weird, interesting stuff.